So, buckling load in the calculation in the oil and on the first valid at the theory suggest you that the theory the first two path the assumptions in the assumptions are in the first two one is call material should be homogeneous isotropic and it should obey Hooke's law. That is the call of the material equally distributed in the direction and properties the same in the and Hooke's law obey chain that is the material should recover its deformation after the withdrawal of load if it is within the elastic range. Second one column should be prismatic. That is the prismatic material throughout uniform cross section area. Now, courses are the width of the length of the length of the length of the length of throughout uniform cross section area. Third one, the length of the column should be very much greater than its lateral dimension. In the length of 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 the length this slender is the column in the middle of the direct stress and the crushing is good. If you have a slender, you can see the lateral dimension of the column in the middle of the buckling. So, the length of the column should be very much greater than its lateral dimension. Fourth one, columns should suffer axial conversive load only. Really. Buckling theory, number buckling specify high compressive axial load on the sudden sidewise deflection which result into failure now. So, axially compressive load loading down the failure load is actually TNA, oil is buckling theory UCM2. And you would have supplementary loads in the key, we should have calculated them in another way. So, that is the fourth one. Then, fifth one, negligent weight of column. Now, the column in the weight to direct stress site is another way. That's why it is taken as negligible weight. Sixth one, pin joints are frictionless and fixed joints are rigid. That is the hinge of the hinge. The friction is not the same. The friction is the same. The correction portion is restoring friction. The fixed joints are completely rigid. The fixed joints are deflection in the actual case. We have a theory suggesting that we have certain limitations. That's why it is assumed. So, seventh one column fails by buckling alone. Buckling is the column failure. That is the material failure. That is the geometrical instability. Buckling in a car. So, material failure is the same thing. So, our material is the failure of the stress. We have yield the stress at the sigma y at the same time. Buckling in the load is the same stress. So, the column will first fail by buckling. So, Pb by A is the buckling stress, which should be less than the yield stress. Yield stress is 100 MB, and the buckling stress is 90 or less than the yield stress. Engile kolo adi buckling wai fe ila ulu. Next one, column should be free from initial stress. Column should be initially perfectly straight. And column should suffer very small direct stress compared to bending stress. Ito nthi na parni kundu cha buckling in importance ulu thana. Direct stress ulu enbo crushing fe ila ulu. Buckling ulu enbo bending stress in the importance ulu thana. So, crushing maximum correct name ili ta ulu direct stress ulu bending stress ulu kolo valare chela da ekna ulu parani. So, these are the 10 assumptions in which first few correspond to the column material or the column dimension next few corresponds to the column loading and its initial condition and the final one corresponds to the stress concentration or the maximum amount of stress should be given by bending only not by direct stress <coughs> so oil and the buckling theory answer chitta first buckling load calculate and in the or idealized column edit the with a column AB with two ends hinged and end end hinged on a and a column that is molding that load over to load P load over to obviously column buckling on a so a in the lower section in the gun and if our arbitrary point in the gun e point in the column on you so call it in the axis in the ah you put in the call for the next the axis load in the distance of y one in the in the axis more only there in the party column this is the dot column. So, now I will take the load of eccentric at the column. If you take the eccentric at the load, there is an external force on the moment. That is minus Py. And the clockwise direction is minus Py. So, the moment which is in the column right now is minus Py. Now, the moment which is in the column right now is minus Py. So, the moment which is in the column right now is minus Py. Which is m is equal to ei into d square y by dx square. From the theory of simple bending. So we can rewrite it as d square y by dx square plus v by e into y equal to 0. When we solve this differential equation, we will get y equal to c1 cos root p by e into x plus e2 sin root p by e into x. So the column is having a length from 0 to L. 
at a x is equal to 0 hinged on so deflection should be 0 that is y should be 0 and the substitute even x is equal to 0 so sin 0 0 eta poi so cos 0 1 so c1 will be finally equal to 0 so e term number the deflection calculation in the poi next term at point b x is equal to l after hinged on so deflection should be 0 <coughs> x equal to l y equal to 0 c2 sin root p by e i into l is equal to 0 which implies e value should be sin value should be 0 sin value 0 on the 0 pi 2 pi mm, e functions in all right the graph directly on the dengue at 0 value of sin is 0 at pi by 2 it is 1 at pi it is 0 at 2 pi it is again 0 so root p by e i into l is equal to 0 pi 2 pi any value then it may be n pi n can be from 0 to any integer so p or the buckling load is equal to n pi the whole square by l square into e i so finally number the deflection equation and y is equal to c2 into sin root p by e i into l this is very important all oh, in the buckling theory and such the assumption satisfied in our idealized column and the idealized column in the end in the hinge down calculate it on the four our column in the differential equation or our column in the displacement equation to another c2 into sin root p by e i into l neither Euler and the buckling theory is such a straight at the inner column buckling in the sine function follow chain and either e mode like the other buckling if a sine n is equal to 1 at the current angle 1 pi in the very in the chart call it in the buckling in an area that is like this for 1 pi if it is 2 pi call it in the buckling in an area that is straight at the inner column in an area buckling here in a buckling and chance of prayer in a column and sit here, if they hinged, if they hinged, now I do good and then you hinge would occur on the show. A pay call obviously in an air kill, while a year, buckle a year, more in the load would come. So this corresponds to two half sine functions that is from zero to two pi. This corresponds to n is equal to two. This corresponds to n is equal to one. Usually, no matter where the strains on the edaki parinilla mundangi, we prefer to n is equal to 1 and we will write it as p is equal to pi square ei by l square. This is for a call, idealized column with both ends hinged condition, which is following the basic assumption of Euler's buckling theory. Very important. E shape function or another sign function I can follow. Chaya. So the deflection. So, uh, suggested by Euler's cycling theory for a column with both and change this a sine function in which n is equal to 1 corresponds to a single uh, half sine wave whereas n is equal to 2 corresponds to a complete sine wave. So this is actually a single bow or a half sine function shape. Right. Because based upon this we are going to calculate the further the conditions of buckling for column with different end conditions and all. So the shape function is c2 into sine root p by e i into l, which follows a half sine function or a single or a bow. We will a bow at a shape like him. Uh, where restraints on the middle restraints on the middle and then you will a bow at a shape like him. Then the end of the hinge column deflecting on an oil and the buckling theory.